Hi, Michaela. Thanks for sending us in your question um, regarding this uh, calculus problem. Um, I see here that this is kind of a uh, multiple choice type of problem. Let's look at the first. I've, driven, I've uh, uh, drawn out the diagram that they gave us right here. Um, we have our A, C, and B X values there. Um, and then let's take a look at each one separately. So start with number one. The domain of the derivative of f is is the um, of f is the open interval a to b. Okay, so in other words, can we take the derivative anywhere on this curve right here? Okay, and the answer to that is no. Um, the reason why we can't is because we can take the derivative of all these x values here. Or okay. But this x value right here is a problem because this is what's called a uh, corner or a cusp, uh, depending on how your teacher, uh, what, what he or she calls it. Um, but this function here, this is f of x, this function, um, this function is not derivable at this point right here because you've hit a corner. Okay, So this is not, the domain of the derivative is not a to b. The domain would actually be a to c and then c to b on the open interval. Okay, so one is false. Okay, so let's look at uh, number two here. Uh, number two says f is continuous on the open interval a b. Okay, so let's look at that. Now, basically, continuity just means that you can take your pen and put it on the graph and never have to take it off the page. And that actually happens here. So this function here is continuous from a to b because you don't have to take the pen off the page. Now, uh, examples where they're not continuous, if you have some function like this here, okay, so that wouldn't be continuous there. If you had a vertical asymptote, say you had a graph like this, and you had a vertical asymptote here, that would also not be continuous, okay? Um, and the third example is called a removable discontinuity, uh, like this one. This would not be continuous because I'd have to take the pen off the page and then put it back on here and keep going. So. Those are three examples of a function um, where a function is not continuous. Okay, so therefore, um, in our case here, this is continuous. So we can say that two is true because we don't have to take the pen off the page. Okay, and then the third uh, part of this problem is the derivative of f is positive on the open interval AC. Okay, so we're just looking at the derivative. So the, in other words, the tangent slope from A to C. So see how all these tangent slopes, they're all going, and this is a straight line, so it's all these x values, all these slopes are positive and to the right here. They're up and to the right, I should say. Okay, so that would actually be true as well because all the tangent slopes from A to C are positive. Now, if they, if they decide to open this, like in part three here, if they said in the open interval A to B, that would be false because these slopes right here are negative slopes here, okay? So because they just limit it to A to C, these are all positive slopes because they're up and to the right, okay? So we have uh, two and three are true, which leads us to our answer, which is, looks like it's D. All right, so uh, D is our answer. All right, I hope that all, all makes sense. There's a lot of different concepts there, Michaela, but uh, thanks for sending us in your question, and. Uh, Happy New Year.